Commerce, and we so appreciate your coming today. And we are excited to be able to come and uh, welcome the Boys and Girls Club into their new location. And uh, we have a certificate for you today. And I would like to introduce to you Mr. Carlin Fryer, who is the Council President. Something Chair, like that. something like that. <laughs> <laughs> he is going to introduce board members and staff to us and tell us a little bit about the Boys and Gr Girls Club. But I want to give this to you to oh, congratulate you on today on your ribbon cutting for the Boys and Girls Club. I'm filming this. YouTube, I must tell you that uh, give you a disclaimer. Great. This is this is what we this is being recorded, so anything you say can and will be held. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm married. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank, first off, thank you guys for coming, everyone. We really appreciate you being here. I want to make some introductions, and then uh, Jessica is going to talk about what the club does. Awesome. Uh, first off. I'm going to introduce Diane Chase. Diane has recently joined us and is our new executive director of Boys and Girls Club of the Texas Hill Country. Um, we're based out of Fredericksburg is where our corporate location is, and the Boys and Girls Club of Texas Hill Country handles the clubs in Fredericksburg, Comfort, and in here in Bernie. So Diane is, uh, has joined us recently and is over all three of those. To my left here is Carl Ronslaven. Carl is the president of Boys and Girls Club of Texas Hill Country. So. He uh, resides in Fredericksburg and has been an instrumental in and a tremendous supporter of Boys and Girls Club in all three communities. Uh, John Houston is the vice chairman here of our, of our Bernie Council. Um, Ann Nowak over here is our um, secretary of our Bernie Council. Uh, Ann Kerner right here is our financial coordinator for our Bernie Council. And Jessica, I'm going to let Jessica introduce the rest of her staff. Jessica is our unit director who handles all of the Bernie Club operations, and she's going to introduce her staff and tell you what we do here. <laughs> all right. Thank you, everyone, for coming again. This is Michelle Mayfield. She is our team program director. Nick uh, DeLeon, he's our youth leader. So um, we do have additional staff as well that come throughout the day. It will be coming a little bit later on. A little bit about our program, we run Monday through Friday. We run right after school. We provide transportation to the club. We go till 6.30 p.m. Early release days like this Friday will be open. Parents are allowed to drop off staff, ride the bus, um, allow to drop off kids, walk if they're in middle school. We do have a middle school program starting up um, full blown in January, we will. Um, or they're also welcome to ride the transportation from the school district over to us. A little bit about activities that we do. We run a fine arts program that the kids learn about charcoal painting, they learn drawing, sketching. A few of the projects from the younger and the little ones are up on the wall right now. We do a smart moves program that learns, teaches about bullying, teaches about peer pressure, brushing teeth, hygiene, um, a, a wide variety of items with our smart moves program. We also run a triple play program, and that's health and nutrition, and we rotate throughout the month. Sometimes we'll go down to Veterans Park, they'll do relay races, they'll do um, exercises, we've done yoga in the summertime, we've done Wii Fitness with them, and then we also do nutrition. They have different samples, they learn about the food pyramid, uh, what foods to eat, what foods not to eat. They actually learn how to make simple projects that they can go home without little to no supervision. Um, and then on Wednesdays, we have a program called Project Learn, and what it is is they learn in detail. Uh, right now, we're going through health careers. So though we have a dentist coming in <coughs> in the new year, we're going to sponsor a health fair for the community to come in and talk and give information out to the kids, as well as open during the day to the public. Um, they're learning about bones, they're learning about muscles, all different items, and then throughout the year, that project learn program will last about 12 weeks and then they learn new items. Um, some health, some business, banking, a wide variety. So, and then we just have, um, we have this side of the building as well as the other side. There's an art room, there's a foosball table, so they get a lot of recreation as well, a Lego room. They have a air hockey table for them. So, and then they have some lounge space, some couches and stuff. So it's not just this half, but the other half as well. We have 90 registered for the, fall semester, and we have about 64 coming a day. So, um, it's going Which really well. How many can we have? We can have up to 75 a day here. So, does anyone have any questions about the program at all, or what we do, or what we offer? What about computers? You did have computer lab. We have two computers for ourselves right now, and we're working on growing that program. So as funds come available. 
Well, we're excited uh, that you found you. a home. We know that you were um, kind of being shuffled around, and, and we <laughs> felt really badly about that. And we're so glad you have a place that these kids can come. And, and um, So we have a lot of chamber ambassadors here today. And what I'd like to do now is go around the room and let everybody introduce ourselves to you and your staff and board. And um, they'll tell you their name and their business. And then after that, we'll cut a ribbon, if that's OK. OK, we'll start over here with Miss. Our chairman for the next, well, let's see, how many? 14? 17 days. 17 days. She's got it marked. 10 hours and 30 minutes. There we go. First off, I'm MJ Slater, and I'm with GVTC. And our GVTC foundation was recently out and visited you guys. And uh, the group that came back from there was bragging so, and so proud. And we, 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 GVTC, are part of a lot of nonprofit entities. But what you guys are doing for this community stands out and is greatly appreciated. And also on behalf of the chamber, we could, we thank you for your continued membership. Welcome. Mike Schultz, I'm with the trust company and also on the board of directors of the chamber. I'm Ronnie Huey, uh, Huey Financial Services, and I'll be a uh, board member in January. <coughs> I'm Maria Rice, I'm from Salon Infusion. I'm the massage therapist there. I'm Crystal Wiedenfeld, and I'm a stylist at Salon Infusion. Bonnie Duraco, and I'm an assistant branch manager, United SA Federal Credit Union. Tony Stevenson with SWBC Mortgage. I'm Jeff Keast, and I'm a Boys and Girls Club volunteer. Awesome. Justin Berner with the Trust Company. Matt Stackhouse, ABC Home and Commercial Pest Control, and Ambassador with the Chamber. Missy Vatten is Tri-County Home Health, and my kids have been with them for, I believe, three years now, and we've gone through the different locations. They're awesome. My kids enjoy it. The one thing is they make it very affordable for you to be able to have a safe place for your kids to go. It's That's awesome. Nice. Okay. I'm Teresa with TNT Cleaning and an ambassador to the Chamber of Health. Stacey Andrews, Salon Infusion and Chamber Ambassador. Hi, I'm Carrie Phillip, Director of Membership for the Chamber, and we're very excited to have you continue to support the Chamber, and we support you as well. Uh, Jody Harper, Texas Heritage Bank. Lynn Richter with the Bernie Chamber of Commerce, and congratulations on the new location. Thank you. Okay.